Yo y progreso, y gracias a la misericordia, desde el San Sista Luis. I want to do a book review, actually two book review, on two books by an author, a good friend of mine on Facebook. Her name is Mambo Paula Huedo. And this one she sent to me, which was, I was really honored. And she actually signed it to me. It's a little good booklet. It's around... Uh, Probably 70 pages. And this one, uh, Mambo Jumbo by Paolo Huedo. Okay, this is a good book. It is pretty much, and what I like about this book, it's around 500 or so pages. Could be a little bit wrong. Around 500 pages. It's crammed with beautiful pictures. And the book is basically her journals of... It goes back and forth from her ceremonies and initiation into Haitian voodoo and her thoughts. And what I like about this book, I enjoyed it. It actually makes me laugh because we have a lot of uh, similar characteristics, is that it's just her journal. You know, it, uh, she, she's no holds bar. She writes as it is, um, as she views it, as she sees it. You know, she tries not to cover coated or candy coated for any any reader this is just her journals well i'm assuming it's her journals and it's easy to read it's very entertaining um it's not an autobiography i wouldn't say but it is uh, a journal of her times in haiti and her ceremonies in voodoo and her her thoughts and views on voodoo, you know, beautiful tradition, Haitian voodoo, which is uh, different from Puerto Rican sanse, but in, from the same branch. But um, it is very interesting book. I enjoyed it. I enjoy it a lot. I'm, I'm reading it at the moment. Um, and it's called Mambo Yambo by Paula Huedo. You can get this book if you're in the United States of America. You can get this probably at Amazon.com. Um, you can get it in... Um, Sorry, you can get it at Amazon.com, BarnesandNobles.com, I'm sure, I'm sure. Or you can uh, look up uh, Mambo Paula Huedo on Facebook, and she will tell you where you can get this book. It's a great book. I like it. It's a journal of her, of her time in Haiti. You know, a lot of beautiful pictures, black and white pictures. Very interesting story. I, I really do enjoy it. Again, this is Mambo Jumbo by Paula Huedo. I, I really recommend it. She, uh, we are good friends in Facebook. We haven't met in person. Hopefully someday I will get to meet this great lady. I like her because, you know, she's a strong individual, strong woman. I think she's from New Zealand. Correct me if I'm wrong, Mam uh, Mambo Paula Huedo. Um, this book right here, I'm, I'm assuming she wrote for... Her initiates in, or her house, I'm assuming, in New Zealand is 70 pages or so, and that's her picture right there. You can find her on Facebook. It's got some pictures. Um, there's a lot of um, Haitian voodoo Creole chants. I don't speak Haitian Creole voodoo, so I had to Google translate some of these songs. And she goes into some of uh, the loases. Uh, the main loas that she goes to, I think she goes around 13 loas. Sorry, again, I'm recording with a video, uh, my cell phone. She goes into the main uh, loas such as Papa Legba, Papa Ogun, uh, Papa Loco, uh, Ayisan, um, Aida Wedo, she goes into the Gede, uh, she does some prayers, the traditional prayers that they do in, in, in Haitian voodoo are similar to the prayers that we use in, in, in Puerto Rican Sanse and Espiritismo, which is, uh, the, you know, the Our Fathers, El Padre Nuestro, El Dios Te Salve Maria, we use those in Espiritismos to start, to start, you know, our ceremonies, our misas and our veladas, so there's a lot of similarities. Again, this is just an 80-page book, really basic introduction to voodoo. Um, I highly recommend it. It's, it's, it's good for people who really don't know anything about voodoo and want to know a little bit about voodoo. It's got some pictures. It's got some chants in Creole. This one right here is for Papa Legba. It's got some chants, some prayers in Creole. Um, it's got the feast days for uh, various losses or, you know, misterios, eh, invisibles. 
in uh, the voodoo tradition and you know the day that they are celebrated and like I said it does go into the Simbi you know the Gede um, La Siren, La Balen you know these are the uh, laws that are known in Haitian voodoo a lot of people ask me what does the word Aibobo mean I love to say that word Aibobo Aibobo in, in Puerto Rican Sanse in 21 division would be like saying Gracia la misericordia it's like saying Aleluya, you know, it's a, it's a praise word to say Aleluya, Gracia la Misericordia, Ay Bobo. And it's a beautiful book, Beginning Voodoo, 80 page. Um, I read this in like an hour and a half, real quick, really basic, very good for those who don't know much about Voodoo, are interested. It's got a little bit on the ancestors, a little bit, you know, touches base on the ancestor. I noticed that the ancestor altar here in this book, I'm not sure about Haitian Voodoo. Uh, Mambo Paula Weather, forgive me if I'm incorrect, but the, the altar that she represents is very Espiritismo. I'm not sure if in, in Haitian Voodoo they do that. I could be completely wrong, but the altar that she shows here, if I can find it, is very espiritismo. So I saw a lot of similar right there. So I'm not sure if this is um, how they do it in Haitian voodoo, but this is really how we do it in espiritismo, you know, especially in espiritismo cruzado, Cuban espiritismo cruzado. Uh, but just a really basic, it's got some prayers to the ancestors in English. And again, 80 pages, you can probably, she sent this to me, thank you for autographing it, I really appreciate it. She sent this to me from New Zealand, and I'm sure you can buy this in uh, Amazon.com, probably BarnesandNobles.com, um, and I highly recommend it. Again, these are her two books. Ay bobo, ay bobo means, it's like saying, uh, in Spanish, we say, gracia la misericordia. It's like saying, aleluya, you know, aleluya. And often, this is the salute that we say for the Rada spirits, for the Rada loa, lo, lo misterio de división blanca. This one, Mambo Jambo, it's a journal of her, beautiful, a lot of pictures, a journal of her times in Haiti, um, Written the way she felt it, how she felt it, how she saw it. Um, doesn't need to be edited because it's just, it, it, it's beautiful. It's beautiful the way it's written. I enjoyed it. I actually laugh. We have a lot of similar characteristics. Great book. Um, in the fashion of like Altar of My Soul by Marta Moreno, I would say. Um, great book. Highly recommend it. You can buy these on Amazon.com, on Amazon, on Barnes & Nobles, or you can contact the, the author. She is Mambo Paula Uedo. She's on Facebook. Um, she's a Mambo priestess in New Zealand. Great friend of mine on Facebook. Hopefully someday I get to meet this great lady. This is Sancista Luis. A big book review. I highly recommend them. Have a great day. Santo Sanse.